everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup in SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you what is in my travel makeup bag. And when I travel, I think that's when I really know what products I cannot live without. Uh, skincare, makeup, travel things. The things that I'm showing you today are air flight ready, which means they're all under three ounces. So in case that you need to find things that are travel size or anything like that, or if you wanted to bring your favorite products, I will show you my favorite containers, things like that. So if you're interested in what I bring with me when I travel, then please keep on watching. Okay, so to be fair, this is probably not the most effective way to travel with all of my things. I do have a larger case, but this time around I didn't want to bring the larger case. So this is something that I've traveled with before. I will link my old travel video. There's one way that I pack with just samples because if I really want to condense what I'm bringing, I'll bring it that way as far as my makeup. But if I'm bringing my makeup and my skincare in one thing, then I'll bring this particular bag. So I'll show you that right now. So this is a makeup bag that's probably popular with other beauty bloggers. It was popular like a few years back. My cousin actually had it and then I didn't know that my mom has this bag too. But um, this is ugh, really big. This is the Sonia Kashuk. I don't know what it's called. I don't know that it has a name tag or anything, but this is filled to the brim and I probably could have packed this better and in a different case, but whatever. <laughs> so when I bring this, it actually stays with me when I'm on the plane because I don't like risking losing my makeup. Is that strange? Yeah, I'm strange. Or this time when we drove to LA, it actually sat with me in my seat. So you can kind of tell I'm very protective of what I bring, <laughs> especially when it's eyeshadow palettes because you don't know if they're going to break and it's just not good. I don't know, this is gonna be kind of a long video because I'm gonna go through everything that's in these separate little pockets. So this bag is really cool, it has handles. Then on one side, it has these detachable little pocket bags and um, they're filled really tight because I kind of just stuffed it in there right now. When I packed it the first time, they were flat and perfect, but I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, see, I didn't pack it properly just now. This is how it's supposed to be. All right, there. So it's very compact. So in this bag, I carry more of the liquids. So I have, ah! thank God I have carpet. Shoot, am I gonna have time to film all this? Okay, I gotta go. In this bag, I have my Marc Jacobs. This is the Do You Drops. I just got that from Influencer. I have my foundation, the Photo Focus. This is really good for um, when you take photos. I just filmed a tutorial on that foundation. I didn't actually need these two, but I brought my NYX Mineral Foundation Sticks. At the end of the day, I ended up just using that one foundation, so I probably wouldn't bring both. Usually, I just try to bring one, but I didn't know what the weather was going to be like. I haven't really been in hot weather in some time, so I didn't know what was going to work, but... These really are good for traveling because then I don't have to worry about the liquid version of it and it's just easy to pack, it won't drip. And then I don't usually bring two concealers, but like I said, I think I may have mentioned before, but I was worried my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer was breaking me out. So my alternative is my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer, which usually works well for hot, sweaty weather for me personally. So I brought both, but I ended up just using the Tarte one all weekend, all week, actually. And I also brought my Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. This has SPF 30, which is really good for high sun exposure. Then I have my primer. This is a Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, old packaging. I still have some backups that I'm finishing. Then I have some tools. I have my uh, eyelash applicator. I have tweezers. I got a lot of splinters that weekend because I had this wooden fan that was with me that I just kept going all through my fingertips. My Ardell brow powder and then e.l.f. clear brow mascara. Love this stuff. Hey, while I'm doing this, I can now put it away since I'm home. In this bag, I have more of my eyeliners, my powder products. Um, I like this bag specifically for my powder because it keeps it closed. Because if you 
own the Maybelline Shine Free Powder, then you know the cap isn't very good for travel. So usually I tape it or I like make sure it's pressed up against itself so that it doesn't spill all over the place. So I have this in the shade medium. You know I use this a lot. This one's actually almost done. I wish they would change the packaging because it's just really cumbersome. I did bring an array of lip products, but I'm very proud of myself. I only brought three. So I brought my Pinky Rose. These are my silk... Well, I think they call them silk uh, liquid lipsticks now, but this brown one, which is in the shade Rustic Love, is a different formulation. And then the new one, this is hashtag SEX. This one is a hot pink I thought would be fun. And then Mike has one of my other ones. It's called Frank, which is more of a neutral pink lip. And then I brought Call Me by uh, Marc Jacobs, which is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, this is a really nice gloss. So I tried to give myself options without bringing too many things. Eh. Then I brought two blushes because I figured since I had those kind of lips, I was either just going to wear bronzer for the brown lip or I was going to wear pink or orange. So I brought the Milani Rose Blush. This is in Romantic Rose and it has a really nice uh, pink rose detail on it. That's kind of big for what I would bring, but I really like the color. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I bought this Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Flame. I don't think they have this. Like, I'm not sure if it got discontinued, but I think you can find it at more places like Nordstrom and where they sell Bobbi Brown specifically. But I don't know they have it at Sephora anymore. But if I find all of these products, I will list them down below. CoverGirl Mascara, Super Sizer, pretty simple. It's what I have on my eye lashes right now. Um, Time Bomb Concealer, if I felt like cleaning up under my brow during my trip, I brought this with me. Then, these are the products that I didn't end up using. So, my skin was behaving, so I didn't use my Cover FX uh, Mattifying Primer. Surprise, surprise. And then, I didn't use any of these. So, I didn't fill in my brows with pencil. So, this is my Anastasio Brow Wiz, but it's good for traveling because it's super slim. Um, I had this skinny eyeliner. I didn't wear eyeliner at all, but I wanted to give myself the option. So I brought this one too. This is the Shea Moisture. It's just a black eyeliner, super smooth, lasts pretty long in the waterline. Then I didn't know I brought two eyeliners. I didn't need two felt eyeliners. But anyway, they're very skinny. This is the iTech Extreme from Milani. Didn't use it. Uh, <laughs> so that was in bag number two. Then in this side pocket, uh, right here, I have oh so fancy panty liners. Uh, if you're a girl, you need them. And then I brought my shavers in a little plastic bag. So that's in that pocket. So to the other side, this is more of my skincare products, things that I use in the shower. I actually didn't utilize this pocket, but you can use your brushes here. So like I said, all of these products are air flight ready, so none of them are over three ounces. I have my toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, all in this one bag. I have my model in a bottle a setting spray for my makeup. This is just something that I'm finishing up. I'm actually almost done. Yes! It kind of burns when you first put it on and then it subsides and then the fragrance is really strong but then that also goes away. So I don't know why it has to feel like that in order to do what it needs to do. But anyway, I probably won't repurchase that unless I know that it is as effective as I feel it has been. I have my Shea Moisture African Black Soap Toner. I use this all the time. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this again. I want to try something new just for the sake of trying something new. But I love this stuff. It's kept my skin doing good things. This is my European Wax Center Exfoliator. And so I use this in the travel size. I only bring a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. Um, so I don't use that much. I was super bummed, but I just finished my BB Curl from Bumble and Bumble. It's a pre-style, restyle primer, so when I put it in my hair, it kind of gives me a nice bounce. I'm not wearing it today because I did run out. I used um, my Way Wave Spray, but both of these are really awesome. Sometimes I use them together, sometimes I use one. It doesn't really matter. I just want texture in my hair. Then I brought all my skincare products from The Ordinary. This is the Buffet, which I use first. Then I use Niacinamide, which is for my blemishes. And then for the evening, I use the Azelaic Acid Suspension to brighten the skin and sort of uh, lighten dark marks. So I love this line and they're compact, so it's good to travel with. 
I'm trying a new uh, body wash and usually I use the Shea Moisture African Black Soap but I decided that I wanted to try a new one and this is the Elma Insana Moroccan Black Soap and it's for all skin types. What it's mainly for is softening the skin so I use it um, on my body. I don't know necessarily that it's good for acne because I personally have a lot of acne. If I don't treat it I can get back me um, but I think with my hair cut it's sort of uh, diminished because my hair oils aren't getting on the my skin as much as before but I like it because it only has very minimal ingredients has black olive oil and paste water sodium hydroxide eucalyptus essential oils so it's supposed to be better for the skin if when it doesn't have all that stuff. So I couldn't bring that big ass jar so I depotted it and put a little bit in here and uh, it lasted really well. And I have a little spatula. This is from Harman, again from Bed Bath & Beyond so I brought a little one of that. I brought my Clean & Clear Persa Gel in case I had an acne breakout but I pretty much just put that on my face almost every day. I put my rose spray this is my mario badescu spray couldn't bring this so i put it in here just to make it more compact and it has a really good mister on this and this is from the face values from uh, bed bath and beyond again i used this this is just the bamboo soap box shampoo i got this in my target uh, beauty box so i decided to bring it because it was travel size and then i brought my eye cream this is the snail repair eye cream from i think Nissan. I should have depotted it and put it in a smaller thing because it was huge and I didn't have that much in it but I didn't have time to find another smaller container. Then I brought this because right now I have a lash lift and I don't want to deactivate it. I decided to bring my Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. This is the Oil Gelée from Ole Henriksen and uh, I liked this. It was really good. It was my first time using it. It's kind of risky for me to bring things that I've never used before on a trip, but since it was small and compact, I wanted to bring it, and I might just have to buy the new, uh, like a bigger jar of this, because it was really good. What else? I brought a little deodorant, so that was uh, necessary. I brought my Time Revolution, the first treatment essence intensive. Now this, using this on the trip, just reminded me how much I love this stuff. It just made my skin look really beautiful and, and smooth and I have to buy another bottle of this when I'm done with my other essence. Right now I'm using the one from Secret Key and I feel like this is just that much better. I also have a video on essences that I will link down below because I just love this stuff and I love that it's so cute and tiny. It's like how big would the person have to be if this was a, a real size. So love that stuff. This is um, just an ingrown serum that I get from European Wax. I also depotted it into a little container. And I also have my sunblock. And so this is the Misha SPF 45 PA++. Um, it's really good under makeup. It doesn't leave a residue and it lays really well under the makeup. You can put foundation on top of it and doesn't have super extreme flashbacks. So that's really helpful. Then I have my Nature Republic Aloe Moisturizer in this little tub because your girl needs moisture. And that is what is in that big pocket. Now it's empty. Okay, then in the last pocket is just my makeup stuff. So I brought two sheet masks for Mike and me. Um, we didn't actually get to use them because we used other face masks that we tried out. If you're interested in getting free product, just go to a Sephora like when you're traveling and then get a sample of a mask because I personally like to pamper myself when I'm on a trip and so sometimes I'll try something new and they give it to you in little pots or you can buy like a sheet mask there for under 10 bucks and so that's what I did and so I ended up trying new masks that I hadn't tried before. I also do like to bring myself masks for trips. So I brought those two. I was so proud of myself. I only brought one palette. So I brought my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And then I brought my contour palette and my highlight palette. So I tried to keep it really minimal. This is really nice flat packaging. And uh, so I brought that with me. And that's it. Those are what I brought with me on my trip. So now I can put all this stuff back. So thank you so much for watching. That was what was in my makeup bag, my travel makeup bag. This is what it looks like when it's empty. 
If you are interested in more videos from me, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. If you don't get notifications from me, definitely click that little bell that's next to my name. Um, that way, if I post up a video, you'll be the first to know and then I won't get lost in the shuffle of everybody on YouTube. But yes, see you in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.